And as you've heard, welcome to Sonic Frontiers, a brand new Sonic the Hedgehog game. I've tried my best not to watch too many trailers on this because I wanted to be surprised by the game itself as we hop into it totally blind. I'm so excited for this because it is a Sonic game like never before. It has totally open world areas, Sonic has some brand new moves, and we are taking on a whole new threat the likes of which we have never seen. I'm playing this game on the PlayStation 5 and I'll be doing my best throughout the series to complete the game 100%. So with that being said, let's get started with Sonic Frontiers. Whoa, what's going on here? It's so dark and spooky. Some old ruins, uh-oh. That's Eggman Shipara, here he is. What are you up to? Nothing good, I'm sure. Oh no. Whoa. Uploading AI program now. <laughs> what is happening? Whoa. The whole world is corrupting. Uh who are these guys? Yes, it's all coming online. The ancient secrets will be mine. Status report. Answer me! The new uh -oh. mission's complete. Executing protective initiative. What? No! No! Eggman's getting sucked in! I don't think that was the plan. Oh, what's happening now? It's the crew! Sonic, Tails, and Amy's here too! On the plane! Where are we headed, guys? It's a whole new adventure. Coming up, Starfall Islands. How exciting! You track the Chaos Emeralds here, right? Let's find out what drew them here. Huh, so the Emeralds are here too. Is this the same place that Eggman just was? I guess we'll find out. Sonic Frontiers. Wow, and you can see some of the islands right down there. Uh-oh. Hold on tight, we got some turbulence. No. What is that? We're getting sucked in too? I guess the same place that Eggman got sent to. Whoa, and we're going. All right, here we are. It looks like Green Hill Zone. All right, so let's get started with Sonic Frontiers. So far, this seems like a pretty traditional 3D Sonic game. And we'll just try to run through as much as we can. Oh, there's a red coin ring. Okay, let's definitely grab that and keep it moving. Okay, so we're just looping around real quick. There we go. This is so neat. All right, we'll hop up here, and then I guess see yeah, a dash forward like that. Oh, there's another red ring. I'll try my best, of course, to complete all the levels 100%. I don't know if we'll be doing it all in the first run through because, you know, Sonic games usually require a couple of trial and error. I already missed one of them. I'll try to go back for it. Uh, right up here. How am I getting this? Oh, maybe I can just second jump into it. There you go, because Sonic has two jumps. And I can dash with square? It's a little weird, usually it's just the jump button again dashes, but it's square with this one. And we got another one right there. So we're already at the four red star rings or red coins or whatever they are. And we can get this one, got it. And boom, the first level is done. That was really cool, but also very quick. <laughs> all right, results for one one. We reached a goal. We found all the red star rings, but we did not clear with 150 rings or with the S rank time. For right now, I want to experience the story and really take this game out. So we'll leave the completion for a little bit later in maybe today's episode, the next episode, something like that. Let's leave cyberspace. Whoa. 
Sonic, are you okay? Not looking so good. I think we got separated from our friends too. I don't see Amy and Tails anywhere. I'm the only one who made it out of that, whatever it was. Whew. Mortal. Whoa. Uh, hello? You have done the impossible. You have escaped cyberspace through your own power. You are the key. Key, huh? Sure beats being called a rodent. <laughs> are you saying I can rescue my friends? Find the Chaos Emeralds. Destroy the Titans. Tear down the walls between dimensions. Yeah, okay, sure. How about a little context? Hello? I guess not. Whoa. Oh well. Some direction is better than none. Here we go. I'm a little concerned that that voice didn't sound incredibly friendly. We can look around with the right analog stick to rotate the camera. All right then, so just look right over there. Options, go to the options to change settings such as the camera angle and player controls. That's okay. I think we're fine for now. Can we turn back? Oh yeah, this is where we could hop back into the level. So I think we're in like the open world section of the game. This should be cool. Oh, we got some rings to grab too. What is going on out here? Whoa, there's so much. All right, M001. Activate the switches. There are three ancient switches on the ground. Activating them will earn a reward and unlock a part of the map. So let's focus on that first, because unlocking the map seems pretty important. So we press this button, uh, this one, and this one. And there we have it, M001 completed. I guess there's a little missions or something like that. And that's something new, is that a heart? Kronos Island. Whoa, so that gave us a ton of info. Completing challenges to reveal the map. Completing challenges will reveal the surrounding area on the map. Once revealed, the map will help in locating guardians, portals, and memory tokens. Open the map by pressing the touch touchpad, which, you know, we're here, so can pick this up. What does this do? I'm not sure, but let's definitely take a look around before we move forward. Uh, it looks like, okay, I got all the moves I'm used to. Whoa! We can at least get some rings, and it looks like some kind of little pink heart. Yeah, on the top left, you can see we have zero ge gears, two keys, and one heart now. So let's see if we collect one over here. Come on. Oh, the water looks so cool out there. This game is so pretty. There we go. That'll be our second heart. So I guess we'll have a lot of things to run around and find. And if we take a look at the map, they do pop up. So we'll definitely have to check that out. What are those things? Uh, Training simulator. Notifications. A notification may appear when Sonic is near something new. Press down while the notification is displayed to practice the action in the training simulator or get a hint about what Sonic is about to encounter. Press down to go to the training simulator now. Sure. Whoa, so we have our homing attack. Pretty cool. Exit the training simulator. Gotcha. So of course I'll be trying to read through the tutorials as much as I can just in case any of you watching along might be your first Sonic game. But yeah, we just have to home into them, beat up these enemies. Oh, and they're dropping something. Pick up dropped items. When enemies are defeated, they drop items such as skill pieces and seeds. Gather enough skill pieces and they will turn into skill points, as shown in the lower right corner on the screen. These can be then used to learn new skills to enhance Sonic. Ooh, so we can level Sonic up in this. That makes sense. In the bottom left, we have like level one out of 99 for different moves. So we'll definitely have to keep a lookout for that. But in the meantime, I see some extra stuff we can get into. Whoa, and then boom, another heart. I don't quite know what the hearts do just yet, but we'll figure it out over time. For right now, it seems like it's just gonna be important to grab them. I also noticed there's a maximum on the rings we can carry. I don't know if we'll get a reward if we reach that maximum or if it's like a limit. Whoa. Uh-oh, here come more of these robots we saw before. So are these guys siding with Eggman, or is it really that these guys are just pure evil, they'll attack anything? Oh no. 
Let's go for it though. I'm just going to try more of this homing attack. Can I slam on them like this? Did that do anything? I'm not quite sure. It looked like it sort of did, so that's nice. Getting to that first skill point level. I do see this box. I can break that open for some extra rings. Whoa, we're bouncing around all over the place. I'm just sort of checking things out right now. I'll grab this. Oh, I gotta dash through it. Whoa, whoa, that was cool. But before we go too much farther, I don't wanna get too sidetracked, but there is seemingly a lot more to do back there. So let's see for ourselves. Is there anything maybe back here? I'm not seeing anything. I do see, can I just, got it, <laughs> that was cool. So some speedy platforming so far. And what's interesting about this area is it's so, I guess serene, it's very relaxing. I was not expecting that. Usually Sonic games are super colorful, you know, vibrant, exciting. And don't get me wrong, this is a very exciting game so far, but definitely not the atmosphere I was expecting. And that's neat. Okay, let's try this one. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I made it, we're fine. Hop up here and there's another heart waiting for us. So I'll grab that one and we're going through. So was there another thing up there? Oh, there was, I see something glimmer in. So hopefully I can just turn around. Oh, is there a fan? Yeah, okay. But I don't know if that helps me too much. I'm trying to get over onto that thing. It doesn't really work though. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I have to hit them all. Got it. Oh no, I missed that one? How did I miss it? Got it. Oh yeah, it lowered. Okay, so I had to hit all of those for this to lower. So a little environmental activation, things like that, we gotta keep in mind. But there is another little pink heart. And I guess with that, we might be good to move forward. Oh no, I did see that, I wanna get that. Maybe I have to do a second jump. There we go. Whoa, hey, it's a ninja. Is this a boss fight already? Use lock on and defeat the guardian. Guardians are very powerful. They are bigger than normal enemies and have special attacks. Study their moves to find an opening. Tip, when an enemy is targeted, lock onto them by pressing R. So I'm locked onto them right now, and I guess I'll just go for them? Oh no, the, okay, that hurt. I lost all my rings for that. Run, Sonic, run, run, run. Um, yeah, boost away. I gotta lock onto you. Am I locked on? There we go. And then I'll just try to run away a little bit. There we go. That was good. Whoa, whoa, we did some kind of combo and then run away. There we go, so I can boost away when things are looking a little scary. I almost got you defeated, back up. So they have a shield and that's when they're gonna sort of swing their attack. We got them though. The ninja's defeated. Pick up the portal gear. Guardians will drop a portal gear. These gears are very important, so don't forget to pick them up. Oh, there it is. So this gear is a portal gear and I guess it opened up this door or something. Nice. I do see more things to reach over there. I don't know, maybe is there anything hidden back this way? Sort of looks like it, doesn't it? Uh, nothing's showing up on the map though, so it's all just sort of hanging out over there. I don't trust trying to jump over to it. Okay, then back over this way. There is some more things to see here. Let me get the boxes first. But so far the controls are pretty similar to the other 3D Sonic games I've played, which haven't been a ton. The one I've played the most of, of course, is Sonic Colors Ultimate last year. Wow, we're just going all over the place. That just got me a couple of extra ranks, which is good because I need them. I had a lot, but now I don't have many. Oh, I can take this up. Wee! There we go. And oh no, do we have more enemies up here? They don't look too friendly. Turn the statue to open the gate. Okay, so they're just statues. The ancient gate seems to be locked. Turn the statue of the gate to proceed. Okay, so let's run up to this and turn this like here. And that's another little gate opened. And what's over here? So just trying to find whatever I can. There's another little heart. So I will grab that. We're up to nine of them so far, so quite a few. And then back over here. Oh no, oh no. Got it, that's our 10th one. And I do see more over that way, so I guess if I wanna get that one, I might wanna bounce off of this. No, this is bringing me to this one. I've already done this one, <laughs> whoops. I don't know what I used the hearts for just yet, but I'm sure it'll explain it in time. For now, if we could just make sure we're getting them as we're running by, I feel like that's pretty convenient, right? There's way more out there. 
Maybe some more stuff that we'll find later. So I don't see a, a safe way to get over there for now. Wait, oh, no, those are just what I just did. Okay, yeah, let's keep moving for now. Oh, yeah, once I get closer, it shows me. Oh, now it's another one. Some of them are super easy to get. Oh, look at this one, I get the, we just get the slide on it. This is so cool. So far, the open world is a lot of fun to explore, just doing all the little obstacle courses. It feels like a jungle gym of just like fun Sonic things to do. So I'm up here. I can dash through like that. And that's another one. Unlock skills. Sonic's Psy Loop skill can now be learned. Using the skill points that have been accumulated as shown in the lower right of the screen, go to the skills menu and unlock it. Okay. So it's gonna bring it up for me. The Psy Loop. Unlock Psy Loop. Don't mind if I do. So for this one, we need to hold triangle while moving. Run around while leaving a light trail. After creating an enclosure with the light trail and then releasing the button, various effects can happen. And what are these? Advance through the story to unlock this. So there's different things that we can find along the way too. Very cool. So I just, to use Psy Loop, hold circle and run in, or hold triangle and run in a circle. Be sure to close the circle before releasing triangle. By using it in, the open field, not only can rings be found, but also memory tokens and seeds, perhaps a rare item as well. So is this thing I've been finding here, are they like the little pink hearts, are those seeds? I'm not sure. That got us a bunch of rings, that's nice. So I could just do that anywhere and get stuff. So that's neat, what if I did it here? Okay, cool. So I'll grab some of those and we're back to it. So what are we getting up here? more stuff to dash into. And I'll try to get to this one, which we did no problem. And there's like a trail of rings. Can I just, oh no, I can't, I can't, I can't. Whoa, no, oh no, don't fall. Ah! I don't know how to do the little thing where it's not like dashes through all the rings. Maybe that's something we need to unlock later. But uh, what do I do here? Oh, the, oh, the side loop, I think. That's what I'm gonna guess. There we go, we did it, awesome. And that unlocked a rail, I think. Or is that a seed? Huh, guess we'll have to wait and see. For right now though, there's a Chaos Emerald on the left. Whoa, okay. So I'll grab this really quickly. We will slam some of these things, just for some extra rings. Oh wow, and this unlocked like a whole section back here. Whoa, look at this. Okay, there's so much more. Maybe this is what we were missing before. Got it. And now we're over here. Oh man. So backtracking might be a little bit easier once we get certain things done. We're going so quick. And if not anything else, this is a great way just to get around. It doesn't seem like there's too much really to do here, except for re-click some of the rings I guess I lost before. I don't know. But I'm not gonna worry about that too much. We're going back over this way. This is so neat. Gonna bounce between these ones. Oh, don't fall. Yeah, I don't think there's lives in this game, luckily, but you never know. I've never been, you know, typically, whoa, where are we going? Good at Sonic games, but I, I try my best. Oh, what was that? A couple more rings for us. I wanna get the 400 just to see what happens. But I guess for right now, a couple ways to go. What is down this way? Okay, that's like the main way to go. So I'll try this one. And if I jump, ooh, I could get something. Come on, one more, got it. And I see another one down there too. So you know what, we should run back over. Don't hit that, because I think that's gonna send me backwards. But I do wanna land on the railing and to stay on it to get another heart. Or the 15 of them. Is there, there's more stuff up there. I don't see a way up there though. Psy loop in combat. Try the Psy loop in combat. Some enemies use shields to protect themselves, but Psy loop can break down their defenses. Okay, so while we're moving around, we'll dash over and start Psy looping. Make a circle like this, let it go, and boom, that sends them flying into the air. Very cool. And then there's one more enemy right over here. We're getting them pretty good. And that gave us a lot more experience points, but not quite enough for another level. Yeah, I did not see a way up there. Okay, if we don't find everything on the first go, that's not the end of the world. That's sort of the whole idea with it being this kind of game, is that you're supposed to explore and we found a big chair. Okay, I guess if we wanted to take a rest. Return to the digital dimension again. 
Use that gear to bridge the gap between dimensions. Oh, so it's another portal thing. Insert the portal gear. Unactivated portals can be activated with portal gears. Jump onto the portal's pedestal to insert the portal gear. Sure. Access requirement two. We only have one though, right? Yeah, we only have one. So what will this do for us then? I guess just get us one step closer. It is not enough to make the connection. One gear will not suffice. Hunt down another target and take its gear. Okay. Whoa. Oh, here we go. It's, what is this thing? It's a big tower. Okay. Oh, it's it's the tower. I caught it. <laughs> cool. Um. So do we have to fight this? Oh gosh. Well, it's definitely trying to fight me. Dodge guardian attacks. To dodge, lock onto an enemy with R and press L1 or R1. Dodging is faster than normal movement and specializes in avoiding enemy attacks. When in midair, there is no need to lock on to an enemy to dodge. Got you. So let's run over there really quickly. Ow! That hurt. I didn't even get over to you yet. I'm trying to lock on. Jeez, those are going crazy. So what if I just did this really quickly? Ooh! That was that didn't work? That didn't work? What are you talking about? There we go. Ooh, that gotcha. Come on, let's speed up some more of it. That was pretty good. Oh, it's moving. It's really moving. So I don't know if doing this is gonna help at this point. Okay, it's moving too quick for that. I need to make sure I grab these rings. Uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I got it, I got it. Let's break another one before that spinning part reaches me. Ooh, whoa, okay, we're fine. We got a lot of speed out of that. I think I'm good to do another side loop around it. Ah, uh, I'm too late. What if I did another one though, like this? There we go, just get some extra rings. Cause I just wanna be careful about that, that these missiles are flying everywhere. Come on, I got it but it is being tough. Maybe I should just go for the head. Oh, here we go. Okay. And I try to dodge a little bit there. One more hit, one more hit. There it is, we defeated the tower. Whoa. That was crazy. And we get, of course, another gear for that. Use the gear as you have done before. You got it. So insert the portal gear right over this way. So I'll hop over and activate this. Wow, okay. And so this will be another level, just like we did before in the Green Hill Zone one? I guess so. So they found a way to mix together the open world. So yeah, a way to mix the open world with the normal levels. Okay, so one, two, we gotta reach a goal, get S rank, get 80 rings, and find all the red star rings. I'll try my best to do as many of those as we can in one run, but I think we're mostly focused on like the red star rings and stuff like that. Okay, well, here we go. Into level one, two. Whoa. That is so cool. Oh, ready? Chain combo attacks. Oh, and I can just, yeah, just keep pressing square. Waiting completed. Oh, this is like a loading screen thing. So while the game is loading, I can do some practice. That's a really cool idea. And whoa, this is not Green Hill Zone. This is so cool. Wow, okay, let's get that red ring. And then can I, I can go this way. This is so awesome. Oh, I love the music already. So I'll try my best to get through this and get as many red star rings as we can. I'll try to go quickly. Oh, there's one. Let's, oh wait, I missed it. Wait, 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 I know it's not gonna be good for my time. Hey, hold on, I'm not done. Where was it? It was right there. Okay, that's two of them. And I guess I'll just hop up here, do a couple more things like that. We got some balloons to pop off of. And luckily we're getting some checkpoints. Ah, oh, this is so cool. And the levels are super pretty too. There's another one. We gotta do whole loop the loop here. And I'll keep going like this. Uh. I'm trying to keep it simple. Okay, there we go, just in case I you know, I pass a red star ring, I really don't wanna do that on our first run through. If we can, just make sure we get them all. Oh gosh, more than one way to go. I'm gonna stick with the bottom path for now. Whoa, and there it is, ow! <laughs> Oof, okay, let, let's, let's get those. Oh, and I think we're at the end. Okay, we made it.
I like the little end portal, it looks really cool. So we made our way through cyberspace again. We got everything but the 80 rings in the S rank time. I would have done it too if I just jumped over that one thing, darn. I don't wanna get too caught up with getting perfect S ranks just yet, especially 55 seconds seems like a pretty tough time. Um, I think we'll do those later because I think we're gonna have to run through these open world areas to get more done later anyways. Executive consecutive actions. Jump, square, are two in the air. Whoa, we can run up the wall. Okay, quick stat. Oh, gotcha, we can just, that's neat. Our, our waiting's complete. <laughs> Those can be very distracting. Well, we're back. So what do we do now? Feed the tower, got through another cyberspace level. Got two vault keys. Whoa, nice. I don't quite know what I do with those, but hopefully we can figure it out over time. A vault was unsealed. It can now be opened with a vault key. Whoa, so that'll get us a Chaos Emerald already? That was quick. And the bridge over here is gonna open up. So I guess we couldn't have gone that way before, but we've now opened up more of the world to explore. That's great. Get the Chaos Emerald. Okay. I don't know exactly where that's gonna be, but I guess way up there. So we have some other stuff to explore in the meantime, so I might as well go for that. But it says I have four vault keys. How did I get four of them already? I thought I just got two. So that mean I can get four Chaos Emeralds already out of the seven? That's quick. I definitely want to go way up here. And the weather's cleared up too. Oh no, oh no. It's so pretty up here, I love it. Here's another one of these hearts. Still don't know what those do specifically, but I'm sure we'll figure it out over time. So I got us another heart. There's probably another one up, up here. Whoa, whoa, we're moving so quick. Let me grab these rings real quick, and then we'll figure this stuff out. Got it. Over here. There's another. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, I don't see anything else really that I can do here. We well, got a couple more rings out of that. So this is so cool. Okay, it's sort of rainy in some spots. So what is this? Whoa, wait, do I have to do the... Whoa, it's a whole bundle of them. I'm up to 25 now? Okay, that's crazy. See, let's try going across this bridge right over here and then we'll see what more we can do from there. So, what is going on with this? We can dash through this bridge real quick. I love the look of it too. The shiny colors and everything. Ooh, what is this? Finding secrets. Oh, I guess this may be just a faster way to get back. Okay, good to know. Nice to find little shortcuts like that though. And maybe I shouldn't get too sidetracked with everything then, but what did that get me? Was that, whoa, that was a bunch of extra experience. That was like four levels worth of it. Okay, how do I activate those? Skills, here we go. I have Phantom Rush. When the combo meter is maxed out, Phantom Rush is activated, resulting in attacking attacks being 1.2 times more powerful. Phantom Rush lasts until the combo meter reaches zero. Okay, I guess I'll get this one. So I can't really get anything else anyways. And then we have these other two. Sonic Boom, hold L2 in midair dur or during a combo. A high speed kick that unleashes shockwaves to pummel the enemy or uh, the air truck, which I can't afford either just yet. So I guess we'll save it and decide later, but that was so cool that we found so many levels so quickly that. Okay, heading up here, I got an another heart. And what are these? What are those little guys? Gather Coco to strengthen Sonic. These creatures are called Coco. They seem to be lost. Locate their elder and return them to him. The elder will surely offer reward for the return, whether increasing sonic speed or ring capacity. They're so small. I almost missed them there. Okay, interesting. So I'll have to find some more Coco. But for right now, what is this thing? There's, there's the Chaos Emerald. So do I just walk up and put the key in? I guess so. Well, here you go. Unlocked with two Vault Keys. So there we have it. In our first episode, we're already finding the first Chaos Emerald. The blue one.
It's gonna stash that away for now. Awesome. Oh, and I do see another one right there. Wow, look at this place. There's so much to explore here, it's wonderful. And more of it's appearing as we look onward. So it will definitely take us a lot of work to explore Kronos Island, I think it was. I'm guessing there's different islands to find. Congratulations! From here on, Sonic is free to explore the island and gather Chaos Emeralds. Try solving nearby challenges to avoid getting lost. This will unlock more of the map and show more paths forward in Sonic's journey. Explorer's Treasure Box Redeemed. The Explorer's Treasure Box has been redeemed. The following items have been acquired. We got 40 Amy's Memory Tokens, uh, 10 Chaos Emerald Vault Keys. Really? Okay. And one Kronos Island Portal Gear. So I guess I'll need more keys later on, but a vault was unsealed and can now be opened with a vault key. The journey begins. And another one. Okay, are we supposed to be able to find the Chaos Emeralds this quickly? I'm not sure. But uh, that is awesome. So two more, the red and the yellow, are waiting for us off in the distance. For right now, I can collect a couple more of these little guys if they're just waiting around. This is so interesting. So now we can search for friends right down this way. Okay, and there's a couple of enemies waiting for us too. So let's try this out. We got the training simulator for something new. What is this? Oh, we can parry. Whoa, okay. Let's try that again, just to be sure. So we hold L1 and R1 at the time that they're about to attack us to get that done. Oh, whoa, hey. Hey, hey guys. Uh, Was that it? Wasn't there enemies here a second ago? Why can't I collect you? Wasn't that the whole point? A little confused. Oh, they're gone. Um, anyways, yeah, let's try swinging around these guys a little bit, like that. Boom, oh, now you're all in so much trouble. There we go. Go for you, and you, and you. Got a five combo there. What is that? Uh, whoa! Okay, can't do that. Maybe I can run around. Oh, much better. Oh, but we gotta be careful, because they are back in there again. So I guess we just keep knocking it off of them and delivering as much damage as we can. It seems like a good idea. I wonder if I could jump over and slam them. Ah, it doesn't do much. So this seems to be the working strategy. So running into some new enemies here, super fascinating. I need one more hit on them. So we're just trying to play it so safe in there. Really weren't even posing much of a threat, but hey, we get some extra experience points for it, which I really need. And speaking of which, there's a seed here. Seeds and Hermit Cocoa. Locate the red seeds of power and blue seeds of defense strewn about the island. Bring them to the Hermit Cocoa to raise Sonic's attack and defense. Okay, well I haven't really found too many uh, of those, but I'll try to look around for them. What is this about? This is mission 003. So I guess I just have to hit all these, probably before they all unlight themselves. But we got it. So whenever we see this, any of these M markers, we definitely want to go for them. We get a seed out of that one too. Ooh, and that'll clear up more of the map. Wow, okay. So obviously there's probably some stuff I need to backtrack and complete. Using map markers. Set markers to mark off an area of interest on the map. Place a marker on the map by pressing square. Press square again to delete the marker. If a marker has been placed, a beam of light will highlight the destination when in the open field. Mysteries and Ancient Rails. A Sonic solves the mysteries on the island. Locations close to each other will be connected by ancient rails, making travel more convenient. Yeah, we sort of saw that before. So you can see all these ancient rails will help us get around a lot better, which is good, but for right now, I don't need to worry about that too much, I don't think. And then there is another access requirement there. I don't have the, no, I do have the gear for it. So, whoa, what in the world is this saying? Um, let's lock on to you. You don't look friendly. Uh, ow, okay, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I gotta be careful for when they're charged up then, huh? Okay, and then I gotta dodge. Did that work? Or parry or whatever. Oh wait, it is also a dodge. Okay, so I can roll around like this. Gotcha, that is cool. And then, yeah, get over here or something. Ow, that was working for a bit, but then I messed it up. Let's grab some rings really quickly. This thing seems to have a lot of health. Uh. Be careful, no, I timed it wrong. I'm fine, no, I'm fine. As long as I have a couple of rings, I'll be safe. I don't know if this is actually doing anything to it. You know what, let's try this move really quickly. Ow, that didn't work. Uh, try again. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna do anything. 
I just don't know if I'm actually damaging them at all. It doesn't seem like it. So I might just leave this enemy. It's not very friendly. I don't know how to beat it. Uh, let's go over here. I've really made it mad though, so I'm scared. Yeah, break all this stuff. And there's another heart. We're up to almost 70 of them. When did that happen? I don't know. So they're definitely gonna be used for something, I can only imagine, but more tips? Okay. What do we have this time? Try to attack an enemy between electric charges. I mean, I did try to do that. It didn't really get too much accomplished. Well, actually, I don't know, it's so hard to tell if it's actually doing anything. <laughs> I think we'll just leave the enemy and go over here and try out another level. This is gonna be 1-3, right? I'd imagine. Oh, there's another Coco up there, so I'll hop onto that in a moment. Okay, well, here we go. So I'm guessing this is stage one, three. First grab you. There we go. Reach the goal, all the normal stuff. Let's head into this level and hopefully we can get at least all the red star rings this time. Oh boy. This has been so much fun though already. I'm, I'm really impressed with everything. Okay, here we go. Chain combo attacks. So I, I think we just do that by just hitting square over and over again. Waiting completed. So let's see. Whoa, this level's like highway themed. Oh, this is awesome. Whoa, we're really moving. Okay. Uh, oh, this one's like side scrolling too. Let me go back then to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I have. This is awesome. So I'll try to run through much as we can. Oh, there's a path up there. I'm really worried I'm going to end up missing a collectible like that one right there. Hold on. <laughs> turn back. There we go. Much better than turn back again. No, wait, come on. <laughs> it's not what I wanted. So it could be a little difficult to learn how to control, but there's our first red star ring. Awesome. And my time's not gonna be too spectacular now, but that's all right. Oh, and here's one. Gotcha. And I guess we're just going this way for now. I've been loving the music so far. They're really impressed with that. Uh, okay, I grabbed some of that. I guess I gotta jump over this one. I don't think I wanna fall here. Yeah, falling doesn't seem to be good. There's our fourth one, our third one, actually. Going through the loop the loop though. And up here. Not so bad. Just trying to keep my eye out for any kind of, ooh, little collectible like that right there. So for that, ah, I didn't quite do it. Got it, that was much better. So I guess if I go up here, oh, that was the final one. All right, so we're good. We just gotta get through this level somehow then. And there it is. Awesome, so these uh, little sort of focus stages have been really, really fast so far. I need to beat that one in one minute to get the S rank, just not right now. Okay, we're back. And that should be the third level dealt with here. Got three vault keys, we get a ton. Didn't we only need one to open up a Chaos Emerald? I'm pretty sure, which means we already have more keys than we have emeralds to find. If there's only the normal seven Chaos Emeralds, I'm not really sure. Whoa, it's Eggman. Where is he? I don't know if he knows. Looks like the area we were just in. I appear to be in a digital dimension. I've employed similar constructs in my own systems, but this is markedly more advanced. Note to self, don't admit that to anyone. <laughs> the amount of data stored here defies quantification. Whoa. But it won't stop me from trying. So Eggman seems like he's keeping busy. Missions and keys. Each portal has its own set of missions. Completing missions will reward Chaos Emerald Vault Keys. The current amount of obtained Vault Keys is displayed in the upper left of the screen, while the number required to open the next vault is shown on the map. Oh, okay, so maybe it'll be that this require more and more. So if we take a look at the map, there was there another Chaos Emerald somewhere. Amy? Is Amy over here? Hold on, let, let's do this one. Place marker. That one I'm curious about, where was that? Uh, over there. Are you over here, Amy? Let's save her friends. Oh, uh, she is in there. Is that you? 
Uh oh. Hello? Is someone there? Help me! Hang on. Maybe messing with the ruins will fix things. Oh no. So Amy is trapped in cyberspace and we need a bunch of hearts to find a way to get her out of there. Do I have any? I guess, oh yeah, the, all the ones I've been finding. Okay. I didn't know if those were the same. There you go, you should be free. Maybe. Who is that who's been following us around? Here you are. Oh no. Sonic, are you all right? Me? You're the one who's only half here. I feel fine, but that energy that was holding me prisoner went into you. Eh, I've been infused with weird zappy stuff before. Besides, I feel like it gave me some kind of boost. Huh. Well, in that case, we need to get moving. If I was trapped, I'm sure Tails was too. Good call. I'll scout around and find you later. Deal? Deal. Be careful. <laughs> careful? Where's the fun in that? All right, well, Sonic is Sonic like always. Whoa, we unlocked something, the Grand Slam. You are the key. Be empowered with this technique. Whoa. So we got a brand new ability. Get the Chaos Emerald, of course, is our goal. What, what did we get there? Were we able to unlock it? Yeah, we did. Okay, so this is the Grand Slam. Press triangle and circle when the prompt appears. Unleash a powerful attack by following the on-screen prompt. Let's do a training simulator on it real quick. So, whoa, so when I parry, oh my goodness, whoa. Let's try that again. So parrying seems so important. Parry, Grand Slam, that is so cool. I love it. So we'll definitely have to put that in action soon. But for right now, we've explored a lot of Kronos Island to start things off in today's episode. And it looks like there's going to be so much more to figure out and find. So that is something we'll be working towards, of course, more in the next episode of Sonic Frontiers. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.